Hi friends, Mrs. Angel here. So today we're gonna to be making a fish bowl. And um, in order to make our fish bowl with our fish in it, we need to practice some shapes because our fish are gonna be made up of some simple shapes, like a square, triangle, and a circle. And um, you're gonna need some paper, you're gonna need a pencil, and you're gonna need something to color with. Now, remember, when I start everything, I always use a permanent marker so that you guys can see. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, especially my younger kiddos, is we wanna practice our shapes. So first, I'm gonna practice a square by making a line and a line and put a line on the top and a line on the bottom. So again, line, line, top, bottom, one more time, line, line, top, bottom. Now for a triangle, we're gonna make a slanted line, another slanted line, and a bottom line. Again, slanted line, slanted line, bottom line, slanted line, slanted line, and a bottom line. And if they don't quite connect, you can just connect them. And then when we do a circle, we make a mark at the top of our paper and we follow it around and back up. So we make a mark at the top, follow it around and back up. Again, make a mark around and back up. And you can practice those how many times you need to until you get it. For my older kids, if you already know how to do this, you don't need to even practice. Now, when we go to make our fish, we're actually gonna be taking our square and turning it on its side. The same with the triangle, we're gonna be turning it on its side. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna take my square and tip it. And so what I do is I make a line and a line, and then I connect the top and the bottom. Okay, so let's do that again. A line and a line and connect the top and the bottom. So it's kind of like, on, yeah, it's on its side. The same with our triangle. So we're actually gonna make like an open mouth or a sideways V. So I make a slanted line like that, kind of like an open mouth like that. And then I connect it and again, slanted line that way, slanted line that way, and put a line down. So now that we're ready to actually start our drawing, you're gonna need a blank sheet of paper, and we are gonna draw our shapes or our fish down here, so that way we can put them in a bowl. So I'm gonna start drawing my shapes. So I'm gonna do that sideways triangle, so I'm gonna put a dot there, I'm gonna make my line, my line, and connect it. I'm gonna make that tilted square, so I'm gonna make that line, and that line, connect the bottom and the top. And I'm gonna put my circle one over here. So again, I start with my dot and follow it around. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fish part. And I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better on what I'm gonna be doing. So, on your fish, you want to make a little curve line like that. And then you're gonna wanna make a cute little dot for an eye. And then a little smiley, if you want a little smiley in there. And then we need a top fin, so I'm gonna make kind of like a curved line right there. And then I'm gonna curve it on in. And then I'm gonna make a bottom fin and I'm gonna make a line like that and a line like that pretty close together. And then I'm gonna just put like a little line in and a line in so it's like an upside down M or a W. And then I need that tail. 
So I'm gonna make a diagonal line that way, a diagonal line coming out that way, and I'm gonna have them just meet in the middle. Now when I move on to my square, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with this curve line here. I'm gonna do a dot for an eyeball, give it a little smiley, and then I'm gonna make that fin coming off of here. I'm gonna make a line coming out. And I'm just gonna do a little U and another U connected and then bring it on down. And then I'm gonna make the same type of fin here. So I'm gonna make a line coming out, a line coming out, and I'm gonna have them meet in the middle. So it's like a W or an upside down M. And then I wanna give him a tail or her a tail. And I'm gonna go out, diagonal, out, diagonal. And I'm going to just kind of curve it in. And it needs a fin kind of in there. So I'm gonna go make a line right here and a line right here. And again, I'm gonna make that little line or it looks like again a sideways M sideways W and now for my circle fish I am going to do the same kind of thing I'm gonna do this with that little curve I'm gonna make that little eyeball except I want to give it cute little angel fish lips little pucker lips so I make just a sideways U and another sideways U and then I'm going to make a curve on the top and then just kind of make that little wavy line connect it. And with the bottom, I'm gonna do again, that W or upside down M. So again, two lines and have them meet. And then for the tail, again, I'm going to do diagonal out, diagonal out. And I want to do, um, actually, let's, let's do a, we'll do a wiggly line, just a little wavy line. All right, so now we have our fish. Oh, I forgot this fin in here. So this one I didn't give a fin in, in there, and I probably should. So let's go back in and do that. So this one I'll make, again, that sideways M. And again, same here, sideways M. All right, so now that we have our fish, and if you wanted to add a little more detail, you can go ahead. Um, you don't want to get too crazy because they are kind of small. But what I am going to do now, or we're going to do together, is we're going to make the bowl. And the bowl is kind of like we're going to make the shape of a smiley or a really big U. So again, I'm going to just take my pencil, well, you're my marker, and you're going to take your pencil, and I'm going to make that you and I'm gonna come up. I wanna make sure I captured all my fish because I want all my fish in the water. And then I'm gonna make the top part of the bowl. So I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna go up a little bit higher because I wanna make sure I don't run into that. And I'm going to just make a slight little curve. It's not perfectly straight across, it's a little bit curved. Now, when you look at a bowl, you would need to remember that there is that little lip in the back. So we're just gonna make a little tiny curve in the top. So it kind of, it looks three-dimensional now. Now we're gonna add the other details. So I'm going to add a lip to this bowl and that is just another ring that goes right there. Now I wanna add some rocks and maybe some seaweed or little some little decorations in the bottom. Maybe you wanna add um, a treasure box or something, but you want to do the rocks first. So I'm just doing rainbow shaped or upside down U's and some are bigger, some are smaller. You don't want to go too, 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 too tiny. Because again, you don't want to be tracing for days. So I'm going to leave it right like that. And maybe I'll add just a little tiny um, plant behind it, a little like kelp plant. So I would just do a wiggly line, another wiggly line, and then I would then just trace around it. 
Same thing here, I'm just going around that line. And they're gonna touch because they're, again, they're seaweed. And I might add some little lines. You don't have to add seaweed or kelp or what you can do, whatever your heart desires. Okay? Now we need to make our bowl look like it's sitting on a table. And in order to do that, we just draw a straight line back here, but we don't draw through the bowl. Even though the, the bowl is usually clear, you would see a little bit of a line, but we're not gonna do that with the permanent marker right now. Also then, I gotta give these guys some bubbles. So again, I'm gonna just make some dots kinda trickling over, and just a couple. Then in your background, if you wanna decorate the wall, maybe you have a picture or you have, you know, part of a window coming in here, I will draw part of a window. But maybe you wanna put a picture of, you know, your family, your grandma, you're, out, you're outside. I, again, I'm just gonna draw part of a window. And then maybe out here in the background, there might be, you know, some, some trees. Again, keeping it pretty simple. You don't have to, you know, go crazy with it. Um, and this is like part of the window pane. You know how you, you sometimes you have the window. Um, and then we will talk about the coloring. You also can feel free to design like the table. Maybe there's a tablecloth on the table or maybe you have some wallpaper and you wanna put big polka dots in the background. Again, whatever you choose is totally okay, but you don't wanna go too crazy. But I'm just gonna put some diagonal lines like I had a little um, tablecloth on there. All right guys, so I forgot to add one more line and it's just gonna be a light little line right here. It kind of curves around so it looks like the bowl is filled with water. And now when you go to do the coloring, you can use crayons, color pencils, whatever you choose. Um, something kind of cool about crayons, um, and I think a lot of people don't realize, is that you can mix colors together with crayons if you just start lightly. So if I wanna make this, um, this guy orange, I can take an orange crayon, lightly color it in with orange, you know, really lightly. And then I can add reds, I can add yellows over it. So I happen to grab a red crayon here. And again, I can just make kind of different colors and kind of layer it. Maybe I want to add some scarlet over here and maybe make my tail a little bit more red orange. But again, you can just layer the crayons. As long as you layer them lightly, you can get a bunch of different really cool colors. So again, on, on this one, maybe I'll do it purple and blue. Um, let me go with purple. So again, I'm gonna just lightly color it in with the purple. And then when you do the water, because the water should be blue, you want to find a couple different blues. So like I would find a light blue, a dark blue, maybe even a blue green. And again, you can just kind of layer the colors together, layer them. And I'm coloring on a wood desk at school. So you can kind of see the texture behind it. That's kind of why it's liney. And maybe I want to add a different color blue for my fin. Maybe I want to add a little more blue in here. So you just have fun mixing the colors. Oop, I went out of line, but you wanna do that. So I will show you what it will look like when it's done. As you can see, I used even some yellow in my water. I used a bunch of blues. And then you guys can feel free to color in the background and um, use crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you have at home. And I can't wait to see what you create. 
and I will finish this and I will show you the finished project. All right, friends, so here's my finished fish bowl. And again, I just made sure that I mixed some colors in the water and on the fish. The same with um, my window in the background. But again, I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.